here we are. We're out at the range with Doc. Uh, Doc, we've got some plates here, some Patriot plates set up for testing, and we've got some uh, an actual mil spec plate out here for comparison purposes. Let's take a look at it right now. Now, tell us a little bit about this plate and. Uh, Tell me what these numbers are. Tell our audience what it means. Well, this is a steel plate the way they come from the factory. Every batch of the steel has to be tested and certified by the Army before they can sell it as mil spec 46100E. When they finish a, a, a particular plate of it, they actually stamp in there that this one has passed its te the testing. But this is the raw steel. This is the way it looks when it comes from the factory to us. Uh, now, I notice it is, it's the same dimensions, so Patriot plate is the same dimensions as the mil spec that we see here, so it'll fit in all the same plate carriers, correct? Yes. Coated with uh, Line-X XS, XS100. Well, I noticed that that's better. I noticed that it's kind of the way it's gone over the edges, it kind of takes the edge off, so it makes it a little more rounded, a little more... It does. I, actually, I think it looks pretty good. It, uh, it is not the stuff that Line-X makes that stops splatter, but they won't let you buy that. <laughs> well, probably for obvious reasons. It's liability issues. Okay, well listen, now that we've got it all lined up, we know what we're dealing with, we're, uh, what do you say we test these plates and see what they can do? Let's do it. Okay, let's go. Five rounds of the green tip 5.56 M885 ammunition taken right off of this military stripper clip right here. Ready to do the test. All right, Doc, let's go check it out. Let's see what it does. Now, as we've seen with some of the other tests we've done, the velocity and the type of round that's used increases or decreases the splatter that you see. But the, uh, the green tip penetrator is actually made and used. All right, interesting. Look at this. Significant improvement on the splatter. Almost none. Almost none. But you'll notice that the, uh, the Linux does get consumed in use here, as they would say. Well, but, if you, uh, yeah, if you look, it actually did its job. It absorbed the splatter. But, it but and far less penetration into the into the plate. Far less. Yeah, as a matter of fact, let's take a look at the back here. There's much less, almost no dimple on the back. Almost none. Well, well, let's take it up one more round to 762.51 NATO. And let's put a couple of rounds of that into it and see if it maintains this way the 556 did. Okay. Okay. Get some more of this M118 out of the barrel there. Let's see if I get that loaded up in the magazines and ready to go. Okay, Doc, well, let's explain what happened. We're using this shotgun shell here to jam it so that there's no space for it to move. And uh, apparently it wasn't in there tight, but when that 7.62 hit the plate, it, it actually bowled the plate over. But if you look at it, it actually absorbed all of it. Now, if you look around, there is almost no splatter anywhere on any of these proof plates. It's interesting compared to the other rounds we've had so far, the splatter that's here, it actually if you remember, right. all our other splatter we've had so far was... Right, in the back area of the proof In the place. back area. And if you look here, it actually looks like it's shooting at an angle, outward angle. Look at that. Almost no dimple. There's one there, but... But no sprawl. It's Nothing. the same dimple that was on the 5.56 on the non-Linex plates. Well, I'd call that a success. You can see the energy spread down. I mean, that's a significant... Dispers yeah, so dis well, it was also a significant dispersal. Again, the back of it doesn't have any indication that something like that happened. What do you say we break out some of the pistol rounds and uh, try those out? I think we should. Okay. Well, right here I've got 40 cal loaded up in this pistol, and it is the Winchester law enforcement grade hollow point. And so we're going to test it and see how the splatter spall does against uh, the most popular police around the United States.
Wow. Look at that, Doc. Nothing. Not a thing. Nothing. Not a thing. It looks like it almost absorbed all of it and grabbed it. It's inside of it. It's between this and the plate. It'll, uh, in fact, you can see it's coming out the sides. It split it. It split the liner and it's in between there. Look at that, interesting. Split it and came right out the side. Well now what we're going to do is we're going to use 9mm hardball ammo and we're going to test it against this and see how it does. Clear? One hole. Two holes, three on the edge, four, and five must be up here somewhere. But look how tiny that hole is. Yeah. It did the same thing there. Yeah, it's in, in between there. Yep, you can feel it. Almost just like it turned in when it hit. It's holding it. Yeah. How about that? It turned in the side. Now look at these down here. Look on the bottom. Same thing. See, the entry point is very small. So basically, the rubber expanded, or the material expanded, and then grabbed it again. Slowed it down considerable. And the plate won't let it back out. I mean, the plate it. wouldn't let it in, but this wouldn't let it back Interesting. out. Interesting. A little more, but it's the same thing that we saw before. You know, with the other two coatings that we had, it pretty much was in the front three inches. In other words, you know, this far out from you. With this, with the Line X, it's more like it's shooting it out that way, which... Your buddy in your in your trench might not like you, but by gosh. <laughs> <laughs> but you'll live to tell about it. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. Well, I'll tell you right now, I've been in a lot of places and I've been shot at before. And uh, looking at this plate today, this final plate we were testing, looking at the, uh, the coating on this, especially on the pistol rounds, uh, it absorbed it. But even with the, the high velocity rounds and, uh, and the, the, the Full Metal Jacket 762 and the Green Tip Penetrator, I mean, this plate did its job. It exceeded what you would expect. So, uh, good job, Doc.